Hello Libra, we're going to find out what full moon energy is going on around you. I'm going to pull some from the tarot and then from the fairy card mess or fairy messages, fairy card messages, you know what I'm saying. If you're interested in a personal reading, the link is in my bio that is located in my link tree. So, spirit, what full moon energy is around Libra? What full moon energy is around Libra? What full moon energy is around Libra? We have the chariot. You could be dealing with the cancer. Don't have to be. But that's you being focused on your goals and making a beeline for it. And not... And being very determined to make it work. We have the temperance card. You could be dealing with the Sagittarius. You don't have to be. But that's all about balance. You see balance and you see healing. You see wish fulfillment. And that's what you're, you're set on. We also have the six of swords. You're wanting to move towards calmer waters. It's like I'm tired of fighting. I'm tired of arguing. I'm tired of fighting. Um. Uh, the outcomes you may have been in a space of stubbornness and you're just tired of being stubborn we also have the eight of swords so the eight of swords tells me that you have one foot in and one foot out you see how one eye is open and one eye is closed there are some beliefs that you are trying to release there are some things like maybe you grew up and your parents told you something about you and your belief you know you believe them right so there's some kind of programming that you believed, but you're seeing that it's no, it's a lie. We also have the Four of Cups. The Four of Cups is all about looking at, this is my focus. I'm focused on work. I'm focused on material shit. I'm f focused on selfish stuff. But look, one eye open, one eye closed. You're not seeing what the universe is giving to you. Okay? I don't know if you see that. I'm hoping that you see that. The universe is trying to give you a cup. Trying to give you enlightenment. And even though that's what you're searching for. That's what you're wanting. You're not seeing how you can bring it in just yet. You're not seeing how you can bring it in just yet. So, there is a sense of, I do want peace. I do want learning. I do want to grow from this. But there could be something in the back of your mind making you feel as if you cannot achieve it for some reason. Like maybe you feel like you're not good enough or maybe you feel like you're not deserving. Maybe you feel as if there's something that you need to do. But just opening yourself up and being transparent is a good start. And realizing that you can have nice things. Like you can have good, healthy, stable things in your life. You may have it in your head that you can't. Maybe you, you feel as if I can't do this because of how I am. You could be a self-sabotager. To where you're like, I can never have nice things because I'm a self-sabotager. You know, but we all deserve nice things. You know, so recognizing that you're a self-sabotager, you have to take it one step further and stop being a self-sabotager and realizing what you're doing when you're in the moment of doing it. You know, like if you, you can't just sit there and be self-accountable and say, well, at least I told you I'm a liar. Okay. It's nice that you're transparent about it. It's nice that you were honest about lying, but it's still the point that you need to stop lying. Whether it's to yourself or to others. And that's what's, that's what's, you know, you're so focused on these three cups that you don't even see what's coming into you. So I do feel like that you're trying to put the hard work in, but you don't see what's also being offered to you. Because you may not believe that you deserve what's being offered to you. All right, spirit. What fairy messages do you have for my Libra babies? What fairy messages do you have for my Libra babies?
pure intention. So some of you may not have had the most of pure intentions in the past. And this might be why you feel you don't deserve something or you don't think something would work because maybe you came from an impure energy. Okay, we have solitude. One more, please, Spirit. Actually, Spirit said no, I'm going to give you three. Okay, so we have pure intention. The fairy of manifestation will help you to use your wishes wisely. Manifest your heart's desire with pure intention and for the highest good of all. So if there was a certain situation where you didn't have the purest of intentions, you may have been selfish about something. This is about you owning it and trying to turn that around so that way you can make it positive from here on out. We have solitude. Think of being alone as meaning you are all one and in total harmony with everything. The greatest treasures are those that wait silently during your quiet times. We have come together. Fairies like to be busy and a group of them is showing you that many hands make light work. Working as a team helps get the job done. We have moon energy, and it's funny because we have the super moon tonight. Surrender to the natural ebb and flow of life. If you're feeling confused, this, in, this fairy comes to calm emotions and reassure you that peace of mind is possible. So you may not feel like you deserve peace, but you actually do. We have wisdom. Have you ever been told that you're wise beyond your years? Now is the time to call upon your inner fairy wisdom to help you with a challenge. So that's what I have for you for today, Libra. I'm sending you all kinds of love, light, healing, and protection. Have a great week, and I will talk to you soon. Bye.